Welcome to your TPS Payments Overview. You've done the work, you've entered the time, and you've sent out the invoices. Now it's time to get paid. Whether it's a basic payment, a prepayment, or a write-off or adjustment, TPS makes it so easy to handle. So let's dive into TPS where I can show you the overview on how to handle payments and adjustments. So the payment screen looks like this. Your actions on the screen will differ slightly depending on what it is you're trying to accomplish. When you come to the screen, you should be ready to perform a payment, an adjustment, or maybe a prepayment. Up here in the left, you'll always see your client options. So I'm going to go ahead right now and choose ABC because I know we have some examples in here for ABC. This yellow button here is to send emails to your client, and it works as long as you have your Outlook connection turned on under the Tools menu up here. The date will always automatically populate based on today's date, but let's say today is Monday and you were supposed to put this payment in on Friday. You can change that date here. So I'm going to go ahead and change mine to the previous Friday. Here is where you choose whether you're going to be performing a payment or if you're going to be doing an adjustment. You have to make sure you have the right one clicked. Right now we're going to talk about payments, so I'm keeping this one clicked here. Over here is the amount of the payment. So if my client gave me $2,000 today, put that in here. Here I choose whether it's a cash or check, or if it's a credit card. Description is where you put any important notes as it relates to this payment. It's definitely where you'd want to put a check number if the client is paying with a check. Check number 1065. You can do a client inquiry or go into the client log here. Now down at the bottom, let's take a look at what automatically populated as soon as I chose my client. You may not have anything in here if you're dealing with a new client. You may just have a few things. So first of all, you have your list of invoices by invoice number. You have your dates of the invoices, the invoice amounts, any prior payments, so maybe they pay just a little bit. Right now I'm showing just zero. Your current payment, which will start to populate as soon as we start attaching the payments, and the unpaid amounts all the way down to the total balance. Here you can see these automatically populated. I put in the $2,000 amount that our client is paying us. As soon as I did and moved out of that field into this field over here, the amount remaining came down here, $2,000, because I have not attached anything. That will start to go down as I start attaching amounts to the invoices. And the amount to attach automatically showed up as $1,000 because I have this invoice highlighted and the total invoice amount is $1,000. So the most I can attach to it is $1,000. We'll go over the amount to detach field when we get to prepayments. But we want to attach some of this amount. So our client has given us that check of $2,000, wants to start paying invoices. So as soon as we click on one, let's say this 0808 here for $1,000. So I'm going to go ahead and attach 1,000 of this to this first invoice here. So I've currently paid $1,000 to this one. I have $1,000 amount remaining. Now this invoice here, I actually owe $2,000. I will not be able to pay the full thing off because I only have $1,000 left. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this $1,000 to that one. And you can see right now I have a current payment of 1,000 going here, 1,000 going here. Total $2,000, which is what I had. My total amount came down. I need to click OK to be finished with this. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And that is done. It has moved that first invoice off the screen because it's been paid off. The second one now, remember I said in prior payments, $1,000 has been paid to this one. Unpaid is still $1,000 because that was the total invoice amount. Here's the new total down here. Now, just to show you that payment that we made for ABC Company for $1,000, if I come into the Client Inquiry under the History tab, that was that 0808, remember? If I do Payment Filter, you can see this was the date that we put that payment through, $1,000. It's under C status for cash or check. Here's the invoice number and the description that we put in. That was the check number. So that's how you do a regular payment. Now to do a prepayment, let's pretend that I have a new client named Zenith Radio. When I bring up Zenith Radio, you see that they have nothing or no invoices in here. This is a new client. It's Zenith Radio. We've never really worked with them before. They've agreed to give us $1,000 upfront prepayment. So they've paid us $1,000 and they gave it to us in cash. We can put in a description if we want to. We have an amount to attach right now of $1,000, and we have no invoices to attach it to, so there really is nothing to pay off. So where do we put this $1,000 that they've given us? We're going to attach it to this prepayment line, so that kind of holds on to it. It's almost like a bank. It kind of holds on to it, so we have it later on to pay off invoices 
when the invoices show up. Once we've actually done the work, build the client, then we could attach this amount later. So I'll show you that in just a second. But right now we need to attach this $1,000 to the prepayment line. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Now we have current payment, $1,000 sitting in here in the prepayment. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. You can see the date and you can see the $1,000 in there. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this here now. All right, so fast forward to the future. Zenith Radio, I did some time entries for them. I whipped it. I billed the client. I marked it up a little bit so it would come to exactly the $1,000 that they paid us. So now we have an invoice here, 0886. Here's that $1,000 prepayment we had. So this is sitting here, like I said earlier, kind of like in the bank. So the first thing we need to do in order to be able to attach it to here, we have to detach it from the prepayment line. So it's like removing it from there. So I highlight the prepayment. Now, I should add that this is to use the prepayment line to pay off an entire invoice. If, however, you had a situation where you only wanted to use some of it, like for example, if a client is arguing with you and saying they only want to pay $700 toward this invoice and not all of their thousand, and you come to an agreement, then you can manually type in 700 up in the field that says amount to detach, and then click detach. But let's just stick with the regular routine and say we're paying off the entire invoice. So we'll highlight it and detach it. Then you can see the amount to attach shows up here automatically. It's telling me that I have a thousand dollars I can attach to here. That 0886 invoice has an unpaid balance of a thousand dollars. So when I attach it to there, it's removing it from the prepaid line and attaching it to that invoice to pay it off. So there we go. Now we have zero and unpaid. Prepayment has zero. We're going to be paying that off. So we say OK. And there we are. We paid off that invoice. Now we're back to zero again. We have nothing left in prepayment. If there was something left over, let's say they'd paid us $2,000 and we did just $1,000 worth of work, the remaining would still be in here because we didn't attach the rest of it. So that's how prepayments work. Now I told you we would get to adjustments. We've done payments and prepayments. Let's talk about adjustments now. Let's pretend that we have this client, Victory. They owe us $700. There are multiple reasons you may need to do an adjustment, but let's pretend that we're doing a write-off because we we're no longer working with Victory anymore. We know that we are not going to get this amount from them. It's just not going to happen. And we want our reports and everything to balance out. We want to have it noted somewhere that we've just written this off. So we move this over to adjustments. Would you like all following entries in this session to be adjustments? If you said yes, that means as you continue to bring up other clients, it would stay in the adjustment thing. I'm going to say no right now because I'm just doing this one. So I've moved it over to adjustment. I'm going to go ahead and put in the amount is $700. We're adjusting the whole $700. My description could be some type of note, so maybe write off as per Mike's instructions. Maybe Mike is the manager. So I'm highlighting here the invoice that I'm actually writing off. I'm going to go ahead and attach it just like I would a payment. And now I have zero unpaid. It's just been written off. If I had left it in the payment screen, it would be like I had just done a payment. So we don't want that to happen. We're doing it as an adjustment. Then I say OK, and we have that written off. So Victory no longer owes us anything. We probably want to make them an inactive client or whatever your company does going forward to make sure nobody works with them again. So I think you can see that the payment screen is pretty easy, and hopefully that all made sense to you. Thanks so much for watching.